So I'm the kind of guy who installed 300 Android rooms so far. Obviously not in one phone, but in different phones. So just today I bought a new phone to install new rooms. And that phone has been requested by you guys a lot on my Instagram DM. So in this video, I will show you all the phones I have currently which I use for installing Android rooms and the one I bought today. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by Wondershare Demo Creator, amazing screen recording and editing software. To download this software, check the link below. So the first phone is Legend itself, OnePlus One. It was launched in 2014 and if you remember it was really hard to buy this phone. Even to buy this phone, you have to wait for the invite. But I paid extra money and I bought it and it came with Android KitKat. When I got it first day, I installed Resurrection Remix Lollipop. So in 2014, OnePlus One was indeed a flagship killer. It killed all other Android phones like HTC I made or Samsung S5. And that's why I bought this one instead of any other Android phone. OnePlus One was really easy to unlock bootloader and install custom ROM. It still works great, looks unique thanks to that sandstone back. I use it sometime to cast my TV. Unfortunately, even if I want to, I can't use this phone as my daily driver. By the way, Android 10 custom ROM video for this phone is coming soon. So the second phone is of course Redmi Note 4. It has huge developer support and plenty of rooms. I already made Android 10 custom room video on this phone. You can check that video in description box below. So along with this phone, the Redmi Note 5 Pro is equally good. It also has plenty of rooms to install. So the third phone I own is OnePlus 6. And guys, it has more rooms than OnePlus 6T, OnePlus 7 or OnePlus 7 Pro. Great phone, great camera, fast dash charging, it also had fingerprint and of course very easy to root and install custom rooms. So developer always choose the non-T version when it comes to OnePlus phone like OnePlus 5 instead of OnePlus 5T. Same goes with OnePlus 6 and that was the reason I bought this phone. This is really an awesome phone if you are flashaholic like me. So the next phone I have is Pixel 2 XL. And I don't need to say much, it's Pixel, even in 2019 Pixel 2 camera is out of the world. Thanks to Gcam 7 and the new feature of astrophotography, I can take amazing night photos. And of course it has dozens of ROM options available, currently it's rocking bootleg OS, quite stable ROM. And then I bought Redmi Note 7 Pro. So this phone was also requested by you guys on my Instagram. So currently you see all the amazing rooms videos are on this phone. You see Havoc OS, Chorus OS, the last very popular Crimson Kernel video where I overclock my display to 66Hz. All that amazing stuff is on Redmi Note 7 Pro. And still in 2020 if you want to start installing rooms, this phone is really the best phone. As always I will drop cheapest buying link in description. And now it's time to reveal the phone I bought today. And the amazing phone I bought today is iPhone 11 Max Pro. I'm just kidding guys, I bought Poco F1. Only sims buy iPhone. So this Poco F1 I got for really cheap. Of course it's not new, I got for $182. That is Australian dollars if you convert in USD just $132. And for that price I got Snapdragon 845, liquid cooling system, AI dual camera and 4000 mAh battery. Not only that by the time you're watching this video, I might have already broken this phone's virginity and installed a brand new custom ROM. Of course with new overclocking kernel. I get 64 GB of storage and 6 GB of RAM. For this price point is really amazing. So comment below which ROMs and kernel you want to see on this phone. And also comment below if you want to see full tutorial of how to install this room from the scratch. And if you want to enjoy new rooms with me, you can buy this phone. I will drop cheapest Amazon link in description. If you want to suggest me new rooms, you can DM me on Insta. I will see you tomorrow.